Hello everyone, this is Justin with Green Residential. Today I'm up in an attic and I'm looking at a vent for a dryer that has become disconnected. So your dryer vent should always terminate to the exterior and that's what it does here. However, since it became disconnected, now it's terminating into the attic. So this one originally went through the roof, so this will need to be repaired. And the reason why you don't want to have that drier air going into your attic is well there's several reasons one is it if it's a gas dryer that air can contain carbon monoxide which is an odorless colorless gas that is deadly so you do not want that in your attic it needs to go to the exterior another reason is that air that is being exhausted from your dryer is a warm moist air and if it's being dumped in your attic you have several concerns one is the lumber is not which is everywhere in an attic is it's uh it's sensitive to that warm moist air another reason is that warm moist air can be a good condition for mold to grow another reason is you see this lint this lint can become a fire hazard or is a fire hazard if say like we have a, an electrical wire right here say that for some reason there was a spark or an arc or something and caught this lint on fire this is flammable so it's a fire hazard now to repair this there's certain things you need to know about a dryer vent one is this is the correct type of vent it needs to be smooth walled metal as opposed to a flexible vent like that it needs to be correctly uh, joined so the airflow is in this direction so this pipe should fit into this pipe going in the direction of the airflow and another thing to keep in mind is you should not use screws to attach pipes together those screws can be a point where lint can can uh, get caught and it can build up lint on those screws on the inside. You want to use foil backed tape. Now, not all tapes will withstand the, the heat that is potentially generated from the warm air going through this pipe or this duct. So you need to use the correct type of tape that can withstand that heat and create a good seal. Well, I hope this video was helpful and informative. If you found it helpful or informative, it'd uh, be much appreciated if you hit that thumbs up button. You can also subscribe to this channel. We put out videos like this on a regular basis and they include uh, simple repairs that many homeowners can do and uh, general house knowledge. Well, have a great day and bye for now.